Let's try the system's problem. Determine the point of intersection for the system represented by f of x equals 2x plus 1 and g of x equals 3x minus 2. So we want the point in this nice ordered pair format. So recall that f of x is this function notation. This is like saying, this equation number 1 here, it's like saying y is equals to 2x plus 1. And the second equation here, g of x, this g of x is also your y value. So this is like saying y is equals to 3x minus 2. What we have here is that these two y values are already the same. So we could, on one hand, say 2x plus 1 equals 3x minus 2, or we can even use the idea of elimination. Because if I'm to subtract these two equations, I'm going to go bottom minus top. So y minus y becomes a 0, nothing. 3x minus 2x, we can subtract either way, top minus bottom, bottom minus top, as long as you're consistent with the way you do it. I don't want a negative x value, so I'm going to go bottom minus the top. 3x minus 2x is x. Negative 2 minus 1 is going to be negative 3. So you can see here that x is equal to 3. Just be careful on this part here. Negative 2 subtract the top equation. Subtracting a positive number makes it negative 2, negative 1. So that's why we have negative 3. So we have x is equal to 3. Now we can plug in this value into either equation. We can choose this equation or we can choose this equation. It doesn't really matter. Let's just use the first equation. So recall that y is equal to 2x plus 1. We're going to use this x value here as 3. So y is equal to 2 times 3 plus 1. And so y is equal to 6 plus 1 is 7. So our ordered pair, x comma y, is going to be 3 comma 7. This here is the solution to these two different lines. It is the point of intersection.